Hi everyone, um, so this video is just a short one, um, I thought I would show you what I, let me zoom out just a tad, I thought I'd show you what I made for my art journals. So I'm taking a course by um, Mrs Brimbles, it's called Unicorn Magic and it's all about how to draw unicorns um, in like kawaii style and realistic, um, but it's not just about how to draw them, it's it's just completely inspirational. You. Um, collect sort of like pull together ideas, um, colour inspiration, so I thought I would go all out and not only make a notebook but also make, well not a notebook, a journal, but also make a um, an art dory, so it's like a faux dory, um, but this one's for my art journals. Um, so I basically made this out of canvas, which was um, ironed using like an interfacing, uh, like a double sided sticky one, onto some cotton. So it's completely plain on the back because this was like an experimental one. Um, and then I sew, oh sorry, then I painted it um, with acrylic. So you can just, well, what I did was I sealed it with gesso first, uh, allowed that to dry and then I put on, well used acrylic. So these are just normal acrylics you can pick up quite cheap. Um, these are the fabric paints from Do Crafts, which um, I also used. You can also get like a fabric medium gel that you can mix in with the paint, so you can obviously use it on fabrics. But to be honest, with you, I mean, I did use it for some of them, um, but this is completely experimental and it's not really gonna go outside in the rain or anything. This is really mainly for indoors. Then I added um, some stitching on the outside. I like the rough edges to it because it, just goes with the whole theme of it just being um, for my art and I added the gold elastic and for the first time I mean I sew and I do needle craft but I've never used eyelets before um, so I put on some eyelets which was a bit of a pain to start with getting the right sizing and everything so I really wasn't used to it at all hammered my finger um, so it almost went the whole lot just went out the window almost um, but yeah, in the end I got it right. So eyelets with washers, so you've got the washers on the back. Um, I've just recently made one which my daughter, she's only 12 and she decorated it herself. She painted this herself. Um, she's a stencil with the gold fabric paint. Um, and I lined it with some patterned fabric. So just to give it some interest. But you are going to get paint on it, you know, it's just to be well used for your art journaling. So uh, we were really, to be honest, not that bothered about the, the lining, but this was just sort of to give you an idea of what you can do. Um, and also what I'm thinking of doing with mine is, if I can find it to give you an example. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so you can get a canvas um, pencil case, similar to this. This won't fit in here, but if I, uh, I could pick one up which is, um, small enough but you can glue using fabric glue I mean, it, it it fits but it's it's a tight squeeze so um, when you do have stuff in here or more books it, it just won't fit at all but you can have like a little pencil case and glue it in and then that way keep some like essentials in there some washi pencils uh, I don't know a rubber all sorts of things whatever you need you know for your art journaling um, so like when you're out and about, just so you've got pencil in there, maybe even you could have in there, just thinking. So if you were traveling and you wanted to take this with you, you can take your watercolors. So I've got a little watercolor set and then you can put that into the pencil case. There's a small paintbrush in there, but you can put a bigger one in the pencil case. And then that way you've got like an art journal travel set. So, um, yeah, I might either find a smaller one, I might even glue that in there, see how it goes, or make my own. So we'll just wait and see. Um, I then made a charm to go with it, and I knew that I wanted to use these, because um, when I started Anna's course, I went online to gather inspiration, and I found, um, so if you move those out of the way, I found this stuff. I don't know where, hang on, I'll show you. Um, in Folksy. And they only had one left, and um, it went with the theme, so um, I added it to my inspiration board, ordered it, and then decided to add with it some 
um, light sari ribbon that I had and make a tassel with it. So um, yeah, and then I added another little tassel with a unicorn charm because obviously it's unicorn magic journaling. So um, yeah, that's my first art dory or faux dory. I will make some more just to practice and um, obviously practice my painting. I was really worried about how the painting would come out because um, I really wanted to get that right and I haven't really been doing abstracts for a long time. So I practiced on a separate piece of paper. Um, I actually practiced in my, this is my, if you haven't seen it before, this is my planner, but it's also an art journal as well. So I practiced on one of the tippings, which I've now put like an envelope and put in some mail art from a friend. But yeah, I practiced on here first, which is exactly what this, this journal's for. Um, and sort of decided on the colours that I wanted and then went from there. So it really is all about um, just jumping in at the deep end and experimenting. Um, this isn't obviously going to go to anyone, it's just for myself, so I'm not really that worried about it, but obviously this is still a part of you that wants to get it right. And I can be a bit OCD, um, so yeah, I, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. I did the stitching in gold, which my sewing machine hates, but I managed it. Um, yeah, so next up I'm gonna be making a journal to go inside this. So I hope this has in some way inspired you to make your own. Um, this is literally just cotton canvas and the uh, iron stuff, I don't know what you call it, um, it's this stuff, it's like double sided so you iron on one side, place the fabric on top, peel, peel the paper off, place another fabric on top, iron that and then it's sort of like bonded together so um, really easy to be honest. I think the hard bit for me was the painting. Um, and then trying to go against my OCD. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, let me know if this has inspired you, if you've made your own or have any other ideas, just put in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye.